Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing well. Today's video should be a fun one. We're working on the 7 Series again and we're going to be getting artistic. Uh, so obviously I've done the poll on what colour I should do the wheels. You all voted bronze. I feel like that was a bit of a stitch up really. I'm glad I didn't put pink or orange because I think they were the two top choices. But we are going to do what we can. So these wheels are going to get painted in bronze or a goldy colour. I tried to get a Mola bronze, which is a Lamborghini colour, but we couldn't seem to get a paint code or, or get the bright paint. So we've got something. Um, and obviously we've got our matte wrap on here, dip, I should say, spray dip. Uh, we're going to get artistic with it. We've got some paint pens. We're going to do uh, a bit of artistic flair. You see things like this where you paint on body lines and around all the things, etc. I'm hoping, you know, it's going to make it look interesting. It kind of gives it the look of being a cartoon in a real life setting. How good we are going to be at doing that, I don't know. We're going to add some shifting metal logos, Barrow Motors logos, cars bought from all logos, whatever we can really. I've brought in a projector from home so that I can project images on here and we can draw them on. Going to have the bronze wheels. We've got the Alcantara steering wheel to go in. We have got navigation disc as well as all the SIM cards, batteries, etc., to try and get the funky 7 Series phone working again. And then I've also got several cans of Glossifier, which if we put over this, will give it a nice gloss finish, uh, which will also seal in all of our artwork. So by the end of this video, there is either going to be some ridiculously stupid looking 7 Series, well, I think either way, it's probably going to look ridiculously stupid looking, but it's either going to be cool and you'll like it, or it's not and you won't. So let's get on with it. So I made a little bit of a boo-boo. I thought it'd be a good idea to go around the letters with the, the thick pen. Uh, Joe saw it and said, no dice. So I've gone around the rest of it with a, with a thin Sharpie. And um, I've turned it a little bit gray, trying to color it back in. So I'm gonna let that dry a little bit. So we're pretty much done with one side. I've got a couple little details to do down here. A little bit more on the skirt. That's the front ring pretty much done. But Joe's had the amazing idea of a big old Barrow Motors stencil on the bonnet. So I think it'll tie it in pretty well. So we're gonna do that now. So that is us basically done with the outside of this car other than putting some of this Glossifier on which comes in an aerosol, or at least in this form it does. Um, but before we do that, I need to get inside, do the steering wheel, get the sat nav working and see if we can't get the foam working. So let's hop to that. How are you feeling about your masterpiece? I think it's very cool. I'm proud of you. I think Thank it looks really good. Um, I think. There's a, few, there's a few issues, but we have those. Um, I'm so looking forward to glossing it up. Yeah, I can't tell. 
how much difference the gloss is going to make. I think, do you reckon it's going to make it pop more? It's going to add that nice like, gloss. Like, yeah, gloss I think thing. we're going to get some really good pictures of this afterwards. And I'm interested to see what it looks like in motion, like rolling along, like how weird is it going to look? Yeah, I'm sure it will. <laughs> right, let's, uh, what are we going to do first? Steering wheel. So let's hop in the boot and disconnect the battery. If you've seen the previous video, you'll remember there was a switch for doing this. Which, Jordan, is in there? So open that up and then up in there. See it? I think that's off. Yep, that's off. off. Cool, so then we need to figure out how to take the airbag off. And I bet you we need to spin the wheel, which we won't be able to do without any power. I always do this. Yeah, so I'm still electrically adjusting my seat, but I don't think that has turned the battery off. Mm -hmm. We'll have to get in there to the terminals and turn that off. Uh, but first, to YouTube to figure out how we do this, because we don't have Dan today. Who, to be fair, would just use YouTube anyway. I guess the easy way to do this is to look at the new steering wheel that's going in. Isn't you lovely? Um, and see. So we just need to get in the bottom, so that should be okay to pop the airbag off. Um, let's get a tool, I suppose. Are you feeling okay? Why? You're, you're actually doing... Mechanical work? Yeah. There we go. Just getting it right on the right bit. Okay, so, battery's off, yeah? Although, there's never really any chance. What have we got? Three. We'll find out. Yeah. The thing with these is, there's not really ever a chance that it's gonna, do you have to get it right over my face? I'm looking at it and I look like an Easter Island head. Um, yeah, the thing is, it's not likely they're going to blow up. It's more that you get the airbag light like, on. Oh. Famous last words. <laughs> uh, God, how's this? This is why I don't like doing mechanical work or plumbing when I used to do plumbing. Things are too well thought out and fiddly and these things have got little clips that have to be open a certain way. I just want to rip them off. Just ham fist it to... Like, why does it not pull off, Jordan? What am I missing? Like... Mm, I'm pretty sure they do just pop out. But I'm going to break something in a minute. Oh. Did you break it? Well, it, I think I might have broken it, yeah. But you just said, yeah, just... I'm, pre I'm pretty sure they do. Maybe... That top pops up? Mm. What a right pair of jokers we look. <laughs> Should we ask the actual mechanic? Yeah. I mean, to be fair, this airbag is going back in, so can I just connect that? Like... You can get that one out. Huh? Normally they just, they just wiggle out. Right? Sometimes you get like a. There's the answer. Yeah, there you go. Under that one. Genius. Next one's pushed back in front of that green one. All right, it looks like we're going to have to, is this going to be the right? Amazing, the torque bit that I've got to get the airbag off is actually the correct bit for doing the switches as well. Let's rebuild as we go. Right, wheel done, so now we need, is that overkill? Mm. Am I going to just suddenly just like <laughs> spin the wheel around? No, Let's fun. put it down to low power. Can we get it in there, is the question. No. Okay. Is right. it back in well? It looks loose. Yeah. I think I need a pen or something to mark it. Central, don't I? Is there no mark? Oh, there is a... Is there a new mark? Yeah, there's a bottom mark, to be fair. Right, so there will be an electrical 
connection. Goodbye. I just spun the clock spring a little bit out of the fun. That's a big issue or not. Perfect. All right. Oh, yeah. That feels better. Witness the thickness. Uh, I didn't realize for the BMW switching as well. Yeah. Yeah, M Sport stitching on it, yeah. This other one gonna stay on. There we go. Yeah, look at that. I think that actually looks really good. Oh, it feels nice. Jordan, please. Reach in here and feel my rim. Feel the thickness down here. Yeah, nice. Right, so next job, wing mirror glass. So obviously it's pretty hanging. If I try and lever it out. Okay. Let's get the new one. <laughs> that would be my That's stuff. A very nice it's, it's an amazing fit, isn't it? That is a very nice fit. eBay's finest navigation disc. So, whilst Joe does the sat nav and the phone, I'm in charge of masking. So, I'm going to start masking up. Put these in semi hot water to make them well, act a little bit better on spring. So there we have it guys, there is the 7 Series. If you haven't seen the previous videos, I'm impressed you've made it this far. Uh, I'll put a link here, go and watch those and some of this might make a bit more sense. But basically, I bought this E65 7 Series BMW for a thousand pounds. It was a heap. I kind of fell in love with it, decided I was gonna do some work on it. We have fixed the bodywork on this car. We've done a full dip spray wrap on the car. We've then done this initial D slash manga slash cartoon paintwork effect on it. Jordan has done an awful lot of the work on that. A new steering wheel in there. We've got navigation and phone stuff to get that working. And Steph also fitted a secondhand MAF sensor for us so that we've now got full power once again and it is back to its former glory. Um, so we're pretty much ready for some road trips and some shows. Let's hop inside and talk about the budget and what a lovely place it is to be now, especially with this Alcantara steering wheel. Regular viewers of the channel know how much I love an Alcantara steering wheel and I think just when they thicken up the steering wheel as well, this 
is going to be lovely for a long road trip. So how much have we spent? Well, in the first video, I did say that I would like to keep the costs to under £2,000. I'm going to try and keep it under £2,000, but we've done it. So the car itself, £1,000. The dip, although the whole kit was around about 440 quid, uh, that includes the actual sprayer, it includes loads of paint that we haven't ended up using. So I'm going to say about 250 quid we've actually used of dip on this car. That's just, just the grey. Uh, the steering wheel was £225 for the Alcantara steering wheel. Uh, the paintwork that I had repaired, I can't remember exactly, but top case, you know, worst case scenario, I think about 150 quid are paid to have all the filler and primer redone on the near side rear quarter. Um, bought a new wing for it on the near side front because that was a bit rippled and it had some awful paint on it. Um, and that was actually a really nice match. So that was £99. Um, then after we've done all the artwork, we've gone over with what they call a glossifier, which is basically a lacquer for this spray dip. Uh, we spent about 60 quid on that stuff. Um, paint for the wheels came to a total of about £40. Math sensor was 30 quid. The wing mirror glass was £14. Batteries for the phone was £6. And the navigation discs were just under 20 quid. So in total, 1,894 quid, which for a mobile piece of art like this, I'm quite happy really. A lot of you are going to think it looks horrendous. And you know what? I actually kind of think it looks a bit horrendous as well, but I also quite like it. Granted, this is not a car I would want to drive daily, but for something that's a bit of fun, for doing a couple of challenge drives in, going to a few shows, um, we've left a little plenty of space on here and I'm going to clip some pens on the car so people can write their own messages and probably abuse on the car and we'll try and lacquer that in. Um, ah, just a bit of fun, isn't it? And the, the great thing about this at the end is that we can just whip this dip off and I can either paint the rear quarter, which is about the only thing that's going to need paint by then, and obviously the wheels again, uh, and have quite a nice E65 uh, BMW, or, you know, do some other kind of garish colour. I think we might try and eventually swap this for something interesting, see what we can get on the channel to do another project on maybe. But in the meantime, there will be a video coming up where I'm going to go, I think, to Cornwall. I'm not entirely sure what the plan is. Um, let me know of places to stop off on the way. I think maybe to Land's End and back. Um, and other than that, we are booked in to have a stand at the Castle Coombe Spring Action Day, which is the 1st of April, a Saturday, April Fool's Day, I guess. Um, we will be there with this car, with the Porsche, uh, with some of the guys from Barra Motors bringing their cars as well, is the plan, if they fix them, which they're still working on them at the moment. Um, so stick around for that. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. You know, maybe the car's not to your taste, but hopefully you still found it fun to watch. Um, if you haven't subscribed, that's a long video to have watched and not subscribed. Please do hit the button. Those subscribers who are already here, thank you so much. Um, I'm so grateful the way the channel's going. Thanks for being here, and I will see you in the next video.